My name is Steve Altus, and I'm with Ranger Boats. On behalf of all of our staff and all the people at Ranger Boats in Flippin, Arkansas, and all of our Ranger dealers across the country, I want to bring you a sneak peek. I want to bring you the very first look at the all brand new 2017 1880 MS. This is a boat that is a true multi-species platform. That's what the MS moniker actually refers to is multi-species. It has that deep hull side that's commonly associated with the multi-species boat and designed to be that big water boat that you're looking for. Plus, I think the thing that really is wonderful about this boat and very often may go unnoticed, it's a sub-19 foot boat. I don't think you can find a better whether it be tournament grade fishing, the weekend guy that wants to fish some tournaments, or if you're really serious about your angling, I think you're hard pressed to find a boat that's in a 19 foot category that gives you everything this boat does. Also brand new for 2017 is the power plant back here. This boat's been ready for 175 horsepower in years past. The engineers at Ranger have now upgraded this boat to a 200 horsepower rating. And although we know that a lot of families are going to like the budget and the price point, the efficiency of the 150 horsepower engine, we'll still sell the boat with a lot of those engine configurations. And the engine choices are vast that you can really look at. But for the person that wants to go ahead and touch it up to that 200 horsepower, it is available this year for 2017. We've reconfigured the dash entirely. We now have the availability to put up to a 12 inch unit up here back mounted on the side and you're going to see here in a second also back mounted up in the bow as well we can go up to that 12 inch unit you're going to see different switch configurations over here on your right side very convenient um, this this all new trim system really looks nice let's talk about this reconfigured bow for 2017 this is an all new design it's actually expanded your room and the working space that you have on the front deck of the 1880 ms but some key features the storage and cooler configurations have been changed for 2017. You have a dedicated cooler. This is all insulated. It has to drain to the outside, so it's going to manage all that ice for you during the course of the day. Compartment here, carpeted. Store those items that you're more interested in making sure you keep them safe and padded in big water. What's added for 2017 is additional compartment here, and that does give you more storage than what previous year models have had. You've still got the live well, the bow bait well live well up here as well. And this is a separate system, runs differently from your big live well in the back. So again, you know, with the addition of additional tool holders, cup holders, one real neat feature this year, 2017, an optional charge cord plug right here in the bow. Makes it very easy to access your charger and to get it done at the end of the day. So the question you're going to come up with, well, what do I do if I have a cover on the boat? If you order the optional charger plug, there will be a flap here where you can access that. Brand new for 2017. One of those common sense things that customers have been telling us they'd like to see, and you're going to find it very, very helpful. And new for 2017, the new style combing pads along here, along the insides of your interior on the cockpit area but these great storage compartments here, which are just great for universal storage. You can throw a plug that you cut off in there. You can have your cell phone. You can have sunglasses, sunscreen, whatever the case is. You can never get too much storage in a boat. So moving from your front deck back towards your cockpit, this very nice, easy, comfortable transition step here, which is actually formed in to the deck mold on the boat. And you do have additional storage characteristics here. You can even put some small cold cool items in here because it does have a drain as well. Let's take a look too at this center rod box compartment. This become really the standard if you will of Ranger boats. It hasn't always been in the multi-species style boats. We have had it in the 1880 and the 1860 boats prior to this but this year expanded capability with a wider compartment. You do see your tubes that will accommodate up to 10 rods with the butt sections back here. This will take up to an 8 foot rod and I think really one area that this maybe gets underestimated at times is it's often referred to as a rod box. It is, but it's also a great organizer. You can put tackle boxes along the side. This will take a configuration up to probably a dozen different tackle boxes, as I recall, and with rods as well. So here we are in the cockpit, or the business area as I like to call it. You have that same wide open configuration afforded to you by this magna wide. So you've got the maximum space you can put on a trailer that you can tow up and down the highway in terms of width on the boat. Plus the fiberglass gunnels mean that you can keep it more narrow, which gives you more space inside 
cockpit to cockpit. Customers have told us for years they like the concept of jump seats. The previous sister to this boat, the 1880 Angler, did not have, but the 2017 version will have the fully redesigned jump seats available for this coming model year. Why is that important? You do have pedestal locations down here, but in the past, if you wanted auxiliary riders, you had to take your seats off either the front or rear deck location to be able to give them a place to set as you move from spot to spot. Now you can leave this seat up here on this rear pedestal, if you wish, or you can even leave the one up there in front. You no longer need it if you're fishing four people, no longer have to find the need to move those seats around when you go to move from spot to spot. Convenience. Plus, if you want to take the family out for an evening cruise, that one magic hour before sunset, being able to get six people behind the cockpit of a boat is a really nice thing to have in a family boat. One additional thing I know you had to notice, the optional rod holders here that are available in 2017, the large live well, which is always a standard with Ranger boats. And this year, the dual pedestal location back here on the back deck, one for your stern fishing seat and one for a ski pole. New for 2017 also, is this different configuration side storage area in alongside your gunnels. You're going to see this up here in marine grade vinyl. This is always going to match your boat exterior and then it's going to be carpeted down in here. It does give you additional rod storage capability for those longer rods or auxiliary rods that you don't need to have quite so quick access to. There are actually tubes incorporated into this compartment that let you extend your rod tip towards the front. You can also use it for a variety of items. You can see the ski tow bar, the optional ski tow bar here. You can see nav lights. There's a lot of things you can use these compartments for. Never find too much storage in a boat. And while we're in the cockpit area, I want to show you one thing that most people that fish, and especially tournament fish, are going to be very, very pleased about. It's great access to your aerator pumps. Anybody that's been out fishing very much knows that aerator pumps can go bad. What do you do? Usually they're very hard to get to. Ranger engineers thought this out very well and you'll find this in several of our models. These are a cartridge style pump. You're going to be able to replace them with the butt connector uh, electrical connections we have. You can spin these out, replace them, you can literally be back going in a minute and a half. So servicing capability and convenience and again covering that emergency situation, having backups, you'll notice there's two aerator pumps here. Very, very important to someone that tournament fishes or takes their weekend fishing very seriously. One more thing I want to touch on, again with the increased presence of electronic units in boats nowadays, we want to make sure that you've got that full capability. So new in 2017 are ports down here for your USB MP3 player charge a cell phone, whatever the case may be. You're actually looking at multiple units down here that you can configure for your electronics that you want to take along. Make those kids and mom happy too while you're out on the water. As well as a reconfigured port side console here with storage. Those plugs have now been taken out of the glove box like they were in years past. You're going to find lots of convenient storage. One of the blessings of this is this out of the way. You can see those storage boxes under there which also gives you auxiliary tackle storage. They want our customer to get the most out of their boating dollar they possibly can. The 1880 Angler, the MS Series 1880 this year, fulfills that heritage, if you will, to give you a great family boat for seating up to six behind the console and still yet doesn't sacrifice a thing in terms of a high quality tournament grade multi-species platform. Take a look at it at your local Ranger dealer. Be sure you check it out, put it on your short list and I know it's going to be at the top of your short list when you look for a multi-species boat for 2017.